All right, everyone, we're going to get busy on this uh, preservation. And what I'm going to do is I am going to get in, get in this uh, sink over here. These are um, frozen bananas that I have put up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm down to just two little, two, three little pieces in here. I am going to set it right here and we're going to process these bananas really quick before they get too to the point they're over they're way over right okay these are perfect for like banana bread during the winter smoothies and what I do is I simply put them in three pieces I peel them Break them into three pieces and then put them into a freezer bag like this and pop them in the freezer and then when I um, need bananas for like banana bread or a smoothie or something like that then I have frozen bananas ready to go and I am um, Uh, not wasting what the food bank has provided for me. And so I am going to continue to process this and it should not take me very long to get these done. Some of you, many of you enjoy watching me process this stuff, but some of you are not so keen on it but most of you enjoy it so I am going to continue with this and process the bananas really quick it doesn't take long it really doesn't people See how quickly this is going? Now I did eat one of these bananas because I had not eaten breakfast and it was afternoon. And so I had me that, that it was a nectarine that was in there. And so I had that nectarine and a banana and it gave me a little bit of energy so I can move on and continue producing these videos for you guys. And so, there we go. And now we have half a gallon worth of bananas that are gonna go into the freezer and ready for banana bread and smoothies when I wanna make smoothies. All right. I'm going to continue with these. Um, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Give me a second. In the freezer. Give me a second. I'm just going to show you guys how I process. All right. Remember we had a mango the other day that I processed? And so I'm getting the bag out. What that mango was. I know it's labeled sharp cheddar, but I keep the mangoes in a certain spot in my freezer so I know that it's not sharp cheddar cheese, but in fact a mango. And so I'm gonna pull this mango out. And just like this, I'm gonna get the mango processed and put in the freezer. You 
do have to be real careful when you're dealing with this, um, especially me right now, because I'm in the process of getting cataract surgery on both eyes. And so one of them is 20-20 vision. I got one done. The other one, on the other hand, is virtually blind. So I'm having to be real careful about the way I do things. It's taken me a little longer sometimes to get things done. That's okay. It's all right. Because I choose to look at positive and not the negative. All right, so I'm pulling this mango skins off. As quickly as I can for you guys. Here we go. Here's the mango. I'm going to pull this knife up and I'm going to go right alongside that seed that's in there. And I'm going to pop these right into this freezer bag. And it'll be ready for a smoothie or to go in some dish that I want to go, I want to, it to go in um, later on. Who knows? I might make some mango salsa I might do that who knows but in the meantime I'm preserving this up until I decide it's a little spot on there until I decide how I'm going to use it okay. and you can see that I'm grateful and appreciative for everything that I received from the food bank and I process as much of it as I can not wasting any of it <laughs> rinse off my hand pop this into the freezer ready to use and then I'm going to move on to the next item and the next item is going to require a little shuffle around of items and so I'm going to move this out of the way this is my chopper, the one that I have right now. And so I'm going to pull the pieces out that I need to get this next job done. And I need to get them. So I need this. I need this it's not too bad, right? so be patient with myself okay so that little um, that little piece goes right into that hole with it there then I put this on and it snaps onto these tabs right here that goes down and then I'm looking for this piece I lift it up like this it slides right in there like this snaps into place like that and then I turn it this direction and I cut these zucchinis in half like this 
and get situated. And we're going to shred the zucchini. Now, you do want to be careful when you're doing this, when you get down to the smaller pieces, you do want to be careful because you do not want to run your hand over that grater, okay? You don't, okay? So be real careful and take your time. As I get closer and closer to my hand, I am extremely careful with this. And then, when I get close to the end piece, I move on, moving backwards this way, pulling this up, and pulling it in there, and move on to the next one. I will come back, I will continue to do this with the rest of the zucchini, and I will come back and show you the uh, final grating of it and how I bag it up. Okay, I'm back. I have grated the zucchini up, and I have labeled my bags with um, grated zucchini and the date on it, the month and the year. And I'm gonna put two cups in each bag because that's how much it takes to make a general recipe of whatever I make is usually two cups of zucchini. And so whether it's, well, I usually make zucchini bread and it takes two cups for that. So <clears throat> we're gonna put two cups in each one of these. One. Two. Now, when you're making zucchini bread, I am going to tell you that the recipe calls for zucchini, but basically any kind of um, neutral uh, squash will work. Any shredded up, any neutral squash. So you can use the calabaza that I put in here, and I am going to label this two cups. 2C. Two 2C. Two that tells me it's two cups in there. You can use um, summer squash, yellow squash. You can use zucchini. And you can shred all of that up, put it in bags, flatten it out like this in the freezer, let it freeze, and then when you get ready to make whatever you want to make with it, then, um, then it's ready, ready to go. All right, now, there's another way that I also freeze zucchini, by the way, and I have plenty of it frozen that in that way, and that is um, I slice it into half moons, and the reason I do that is for soups and stews during the winter, and I have plenty of that already. Um, packaged up and in my freezer ready to go and so I just needed to get some packaged up in a way that 
um, I can make zucchini bread. And so this is one way to do that. All right, I am gonna take a little bit out of the other bag and put it in this one to kind of evenly disperse this uh, zucchini, shredded zucchini. So I make sure that I have approximately two cups in each one and uh, it's ready to go for two zucchini breads for the winter when I get the urge to make some uh, zucchini bread. All right, and see, I wiped down these counters. I had zucchini all over the place. Um, I wiped down these counters, and um, I'm not wasting any of the shredded stuff because I, uh, I worked hard, all right? And so, all right, so there we go. We've got approximately four cups of zucchini out of those um, shredded squash out of those three squashes and ready to go into the freezer. Okay, now I'm going to continue to process this as I go through the day so you guys can see me processing all of the vegetables um, to get them ready for recipes. Guys, our next video is taking care of these lemons. You can see that I've already sliced the lemons up. And so I am going to make me some lemon water for the week to go into the refrigerator. And I'm going to take these lemons because they already need to be used up. I'm going to take them and squeeze them right into right into this pitcher. That was a seed. Let me get that seed out. And we are going to take care of these lemons that we got today. These are big lemons. They're not fitting in my lemon squeezer very good. My mouth is watering from the smell of these lemons. That's how powerful this smell is. One more and we'll be done. That one had a lot of, a lot of uh, seeds in it that half did. Okay. Right there, we do two lemons, lots of seeds in those, and then we're going to take cold water, fill the pitcher up with water, and then this pitcher is going to go in the refrigerator, and I'll drink off of it for the next three or four days. Just plain lemon water. left over here is the tomato and the tomato I'm gonna slice it up and put it on that sandwich and these peppers what I'm gonna do is dice these up and put them into the bags of peppers that I have in my freezer that I'm collecting peppers for a recipe that I'm gonna be canning up something and then the corn I'm just going to boil those and get them ready to go in the refrigerator and I will eat them because I have enough corn in my refrigerator now for the winter 
to make my soups with. And that's what I'm going to do with the rest of the produce. So this is how I use up and preserve all of the produce that I get from the food bank each day. And I try to do it on the day, on the very day that I get it. You guys have a blessed day and I will see you on the next video. All right, everyone, let's get in here and let's continue working on putting up the produce that I got from today's uh, food bank haul. Let me wash my hands real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to take care of these last two items, last three items that I have over here from today's uh, food bank haul. One of them is those peppers. And what I have discovered about those peppers is they are a mild pepper. So we are going to We're going to get out my peppers mild pepper bag and we're going to continue adding these peppers to this is my frozen mild pepper bag that I keep adding to it and so we are going to take these and we seed them and we're going to add them into the pepper bag over here. Just keep adding them to my mild pepper bag. And don't worry, I have plans for these peppers. I do. And so. That was an easier way of dealing with this. I think I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna do that from now on. I'm learning as I go as well. So, I'm gonna take and cut these in strips. direction. Remember that as I'm cooking for these next several weeks, I'm working on with the things that I have prepped up in my house from previous food bank hauls and my channel is kind of new and and well it's it's an old channel but it's new for me um, doing content and the reason is because I've never never done this before but I noticed that there was a need out there for people to learn how to take what they get 
and preserve it up for future use if they don't have a use for it right now. And I'm what they call an ingredient type of preserver in that I preserve the ingredients that go into a variety of things that I prepare. And then when I get ready to prepare them, then I go, I go and pull out the ingredients I need for it. And so that's kind of how I work with my, with my food preservation fiascos and shenanigans in the kitchen is that I take all the ingredients that I get, no matter what they are, every week and then figure out how I'm going to apply and use those into recipes. Now I have a spot on this and so I'm going to get rid of that spot on there and then there we go. One of the reasons I wanted to tell you guys that I read up on the peppers that I use as well before I start working with them is because I want to make sure they're not a really, really hot pepper that I need to glove up for. Because I certainly don't want the pepper juices of a really hot pepper on my hands and then potentially touch my face and that kind of stuff. So. There we go, we got these peppers preserved up and into a Ziploc bag that will now go into the freezer for some meals. Okay. Now I'm going to take this, um, this corn this is the next thing I'm going to deal with. I'm going to cut these in half. Pop them in half like that. With both of them. We're on the edge here. I'm moving things around. And getting it ready. Because I told you guys that I was going to that I was going to cook this corn and get it put into my refrigerator <clears throat> for future meals this week. And so this is going to give me four pieces of corn. That I'm going to now put into this pot over here off camera. I'll show it to you in a minute. Really impressed with some of these YouTubers because they have like, they have more than, you know, one camera. I only have one camera. And so, well, hmm. let me bring out the big guns. guns. Take that tip off. Put that in a pot. <clears throat> Get that going. 
and rinse everything off. So I can move on to my next and final piece of produce from today's haul, and that is this tomato. And I am just going to slice this tomato up and put it in a container. And I will eat it up either just a sliced tomato on my plate or I will put it on top of that sandwich that I received today and it will be a slice of tomato for that sandwich and people there I have preserved up all of I'm sorry I'm in the background pulling something out I have preserved all of the produce from today's haul from the food bank the food pantry today's food pantry now tomorrow I'll be going to another one I am showing you how I'm putting these into a container. Somebody asked me about these containers in a video and I'll give you the link down below for these containers where I bought them. And now we're going to end this video with a picture of Of the tomatoes packed up and then I'm gonna move you over here and you're gonna see that the corn is on the stove and boiling and that my friends is how I preserve up a food bank haul and for dinner tonight I'll do a short and you'll see how I use some of the food bank haul to create a meal <laughs>